We turn now to the impending Supreme Court nomination. We start with a little background on Amy, Judge Amy Coney Barrett. She's the mother of seven, including two adopted children from the country of Haiti. She is a practicing Catholic, just like Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi. She has embarked on a successful and impressive career as an attorney, as a professor, and as a judge. If confirmed, she will be the youngest person on the bench. She will be the fifth women, woman ever to serve on the U.S. Supreme Court. Judge Barrett is known as a textualist, one who values the meaning of the U.S. Constitution. I would include things like the First and Second Amendment. She has argued in favor of gun rights, as is in the Constitution, including for those who have been convicted of nonviolent crimes. She is also a strong defender of due process and the presumption of innocence. Now, on the issue of abortion, in spite of the lies the left will tell you, Judge Barrett has been described as personally pro-life but has expressed doubts that Roe v. Wade will ever be overturned. Again, she is an originalist. She believes in precedent, and she has said so. She believes in co-equal branches of government. She believes in the concept of separation of powers. She is not an activist ju jurist. She is not trying to write or recreate settled law, and she will not legislate from the bench. And despite what you will hear, which will be a lot of lies, predictably from Democrats, Judge Barrett has never directly ruled on any abortion case. She did once argue in favor of judges recusing themselves for conscience issues or religious reasons surrounding important cases like the death penalty. In other words, issues of conscience. I thought that mattered to people on the left. Judge Barrett is extraordinarily well qualified. She is extremely smart, educated with a lot of experience. Extremely impressive individual, professional on every level. She is a constitutionalist, so that means the left will and is already vilifying her. Now, they want you to believe, and they will want you to believe, she's an extremist monster, monster who is unfit to serve. They will lie, they will smear, they will slander. That is who they are, that is what they do. Yahoo News, they published an article, it reads, quote, this is Amy Coney Barrett, the potential RBG replacement who hates your uterus. That's a lie. Reuters openly wondered if this was the beginning of the handmaid's tale. Quote, U.S. Supreme Court candidates religious community under scrutiny. And Reuters was only one of many outlets that attempted to use the dystopian hand, the Handmaid's Tale to smear Barrett's Catholic faith. Does anyone question Joe Biden's faith? No. Anyone question Nancy Pelosi's faith? No. And by the way, nor should they, nor should anyone. That is between them, their conscience, their church, and their personal belief in God. It's nobody's business. It happens to be a fact that they are at odds with, quote, church doctrine on many issues. That's none of our business. Now, still Newsweek published the baseless attack against Justice or Judge Barrett. Uh, so did several other so-called news organizations. The attacks on Judge Barrett's character didn't stop there. This is the beginning of, well, a month from hell for her and her family. Take a look. So I think the stakes of this nomination are, are very clear. If, if it is, in fact, Barrett, she is someone who will implement Donald Trump's uh, agenda uh, across the board. 48-year-old Barrett is a mother of seven who has won over religious conservatives for having anti-abortion views. But in some ways, she would be the polar opposite of Ruth Bader Ginsburg because she's a, a, a pretty clear opponent of abortion. And, and that may be a, a key point for the president. He'll want to uh, nominate somebody who is uh, determined to overturn Roe v. Wade. There's uh, civil rights and labor union rights and gay rights and women's rights. The right to choose Roe v. Wade could be undone by a court this extreme. No, she said she believes in precedent.